Georgia and Alabama in the college football playoff national championship game. Alabama, Georgia, 8 Eastern on ESPN. Bama looking for their seventh title in 13 years. Georgia hasn't won it all since 1980. Despite the loss in the SEC title game, Georgia's actually a two and a half point favorite over the tide tonight. Alabama 5-1 and one outright as an underdog since 2008. Three of those wins coming against the Bulldogs. And again, RG3 is with us here. And let's talk about the quarterback for Alabama. These two teams just played each other about a month ago and Bryce Young had a Heisman worthy performance on that day through for 421 yards. So what did you see from Young in the playoff last week RG3 and what should we be expecting from him in the championship game tonight? Yeah, Greeny, I watched every single snap of Bryce Young in the, in the Cotton Bowl three times over. And the thing that's most impressive to me is his ability not to allow one bad play to turn into two, three, four bad plays. He's got a short memory. So let's run the tape. In the third quarter against Cincy, right here you see everybody's talking about manipulate the pocket, manipulate the pocket. It's like, what pocket are you talking about? Since he got excessive pressure on him the entire game, they forced him here to throw the ball into a defensive team meeting and the safety Brian Cook came away with the interception. But hold up, wait a minute. Y'all thought he was finished. He came back on the very next drive on third and 16. He identifies who his read is. He manipulates the pocket this time because he has an opportunity to step up and he converts the third and 16 hitting his guy Jamison Williams right down the middle of the field in between the safeties, boom, first down. But he wasn't finished. He comes back later in the drive and he sees that he's got man coverage when Slade Bowden goes across the formation and he lets the other routes displace the defense as he semi rolls to the right and his guy Cameron Latu does a great uh, acting job, Oscar worthy job of getting open in the end zone. Hmm. And Bryce Young is just an incredible player. He's a complete quarterback pre-snap recognition, post-snap execution, and he doesn't allow those bad plays to, to turn into more bad plays. I feel like the general consensus on this game is Georgia has the better team, but Bama has the better quarterback, and they have the legendary coach. Who do you like tonight? Oh, man, I like Bama. I think uh, if, you, if you ask me, can they have a repeat performance from the SEC championship? Uh, is water wet? Uh, if, you, if you stay outside <laughs> too long, do you get burned? <laughs> <laughs> yes, you do. So for Alabama, they're winning this game, in my opinion. Everyone talks about how it's hard for a top 10 team or top five AP teams to beat a team twice in the same season. But we're completely ignoring the fact that we had a top 25 matchup this past year with Utah and Oregon, where Utah came away victorious two times in a matter of weeks. I think that's a similar thing that's going to happen. It'll be a little bit closer of a game, but Alabama will come out on top. Jamison Williams, Bryce Young, Cameron Latu, Ja'Cory Brooks will be too much in the end. Thank you for watching ESPN on YouTube. For live streaming sports and premium content, subscribe to ESPN+. Plus.